I have a couple of pistons here that are interesting. Well, one in particular is especially interesting. And that would be the one on the right, as if you couldn't tell. This piston here, well, let me back up a little bit. Okay, both of these pistons come out of a 2007 Dodge Ram with a 6.7 Cummins. So we're talking diesel here, in case you couldn't tell based on the size of this wrist pin. But anyway, this one here is melted down and this one here has not. Well, these both came from the same engine. This one was cylinder number four and this one was cylinder number five. So this poor aluminum piston has completely melted down in disastrous form. You can see that the whole, if you put them side by side like this, you can see that the whole, the whole top of the, the piston, you know, this one is just completely gone. And um, that uh, happened because of an injector that was stuck open. So the number four injector was, was stuck open and it was spraying constantly. Now, it might not have been a continuous spray, okay? Maybe more accurate to say it was dripping, but nevertheless, we, we had a problem with the number four injector and it was not working. Uh, dumping too much fuel. Well, when we dump too much fuel into a diesel engine, there is plenty of oxygen there because of the excess air that diesel engines run with. So all of that extra oxygen mixed with the fuel, we burn that fuel, we make a tremendous amount of heat. And the heat got so high that we literally started boiling the top of the, the, the aluminum in the top of this piston. Um, we, we burned down through the, the first ring land. You know, you can see that what's left of the, the upper compression ring is barely hanging in there. Um, there's actually a chunk of the, the compression ring stuck here. You can see the keystone shape of that piston ring completely embedded in what was molten aluminum on the top of this piston. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could get inside the, the combustion chamber or get inside that cylinder and, and watch this failure take place? That would be pretty cool, but I imagine it would be too hot. So anyway, that's not going to happen. But uh, as the, the, the piston deformed, all the, the molten material streaming down the cylinder walls as this piston is moving up and down, we we, we embedded aluminum on the sides of these things and just just completely ripped it to shreds. It doesn't look nice like this one here does. Um, just completely, completely ruined it. And that happened because of an injector. And to me, that is the biggest weakness of the diesel engines is those darn injectors. It doesn't matter what you have. It could be a Cummins, it could be a Power Stroke, it could be a Duramax. They all have injector issues. They just do. And it's, it's really too bad because it makes for such a weak spot in the diesel engine that a lot of times we're not seeing, at least you know, in the light duty diesels, we're not seeing the kind of longevity that they get, say, out of the, 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 the heavy duty diesels, the ones in the big trucks, the semi trucks. You know, and those things have their injector issues as well. But uh, if somebody out there can build a better injector that will not fail, that will not just go bad and not spray fuel or go bad and spray too much fuel or, or whatever. Um, if, you can, if you can build an injector that's better than the, the injectors we're getting from, you know, there's only like two or three companies that even build them anymore, then uh, if you make a more reliable injector that prevents this kind of a massive engine failure, then you will be a very wealthy individual and you can retire for the rest of your life and uh, your kids can retire for the rest of their life because you will sell tons of them. Diesels need better injectors, there's, there's no doubt. Uh, sometimes people like to say, well, we took the sulfur out of the fuel and you know, that's, it, that's got very little, if anything, to do with it. Um, diesels had injector problems long before they took the sulfur out of the fuel. So don't blame it on the sulfur. It's, uh, it's something else and I, you know, I myself, I couldn't tell you exactly why the injectors fail so much other than they have a tough job. You know, a lot of, lot of high pressure. They gotta work very quickly. They gotta be very precise. Perhaps that's just too much to, to ask from an injector. But anyway, definitely a problem. Definitely a massive engine failure. We're, we're in the process of rebuilding this motor. We're gonna have this truck up and running um, sometime in the near future. So that'd be a good thing.